Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. Today I'm going to be focusing on upgrading some of my airports, because especially the airport over here, it has quite a lot of air traffic. And at the moment, these aircraft tend to run into each other every now and then. This one of the airports that I have is, um, surprisingly, one of the quieter ones. There is another airport that is even busier. That's the one over here on the left side. This one has three lines, and as you can see, one of them is already holding position as another aircraft is coming in. Oh, nice, we got the Boeing 757. Um, I'm going to be upgrading this one to be a uh, two-runway airport. There's another one already on approach. Uh, you're going through the hills. This is not war game, you can't do that. Let's see if I can find a moment when I do not have any passengers on here. Sorry, when I do not have any aircraft on here. I think that's going to be tricky. It's, yeah. The aircraft are coming in pretty damn often. And this means that I might not be able to find a moment when there are no people waiting here. Sorry, when there's no aircraft lined up for approach. See, every time... They decide to take off. Another one comes in. Um, right. Every now and then we have some new vehicles that, or some vehicles that need upgrading. I don't think I can delete it right now. Yeah, vehicle in the way. We're gonna be seeing that quite a lot. Vehicle in the way. Um, what I can do is tell these things to go around. That, if I tell enough aircraft to go around, should allow me to quickly replace the airport. Currently we have, well, a decent amount of people waiting there, not stellar amount. Okay. Airports are clear. I just hope it's going to fit. Construction confirmed. Two runway airport. Uh, one concrete runway, now I'll have two concrete runways. A medium hub airport. Larger airport with two concrete runways and many gates. Improved capacity on taxiways for less go-arounds. Sweet. Jesus, that's big. Um, can we fit that in anywhere? We can. Screw it. Why not? Let's connect the roads. Does this still cover the airport? I hope it does. Yeah, I think it does. Now, the airports, or the airlines, rather, I hope they are smart enough that they are still connecting. Uh, this is Joburg. Yeah, they are. Okay, good. So right now we have a pretty large airport that I can still upgrade with more. Holy shit, I said three terminals, not six. Ah, well, I might as well. Future-proofing. Okay, so now we have a lot of airports, or a lot of terminals. And let's see if there's enough passengers waiting to start upgrading some of these lines. Uh, oh, sorry, that ship is landing. I need to be checking here. There's still not a lot of people waiting here. I thought the airports, or the airlines, were bringing in a decent amount of money. Joburg Mosquito Bay? It's not that good. Might need to change something around there. Let's see. Mosquito Bay was here. We have waiting over here is exactly two people. <laughs> yeah. That's a bit expensive to be running a couple of Boeing 737s on. Alright, I'm gonna cancel this. Oh well. How often do these aircraft arrive? Every five minutes. Hmm. Look at this, though. Harpoon to wishbone. Eight million. Wishbone... No, that's whalers. Where's wishbone? Wishbone. Oh, alright. This is up in the north. Over here. This is wishbone. 23 people waiting to go to Joburg. And at the moment, on the line of harpoon... 
I'm mostly using the Lockheed Super Constellations. Let's check in with these aircraft. Uh, the Lockheed Super Constellation has a speed of 490 kph. How about capacity? We're looking at 23. If I go for the Boeing 757, I'm getting quite a lot more speed. 895 kilometers per hour, but these things cost me 18 million a pop. Uh, there's not that many people waiting here. There might be if I upgrade to Boeing's, but upgrading all of these aircraft is a bit much. And I'm going to keep up that frequency because I think that is helping. So, if I don't go for the Super Constellation, I might be able to go for this one, the 737, because it's a lot faster. Eight, uh, 780 versus 500. And it carries almost the same amount of passengers, but it can do more uh, go-rounds in this period of time. Does it have the DHC-7? Not terribly interested in that, because they're pretty slow. And the rest are freighters. Um, yeah, I'll upgrade to the 737. That one. More speed, two less seats. That's going to get expensive, 22 million. Go for it. How about the other airlines? The Joburg Wishbone Line, so that's coming from here, going to my new airport, is also bringing in a decent portion of money, but it's not as much as I'm hoping. At the moment, we don't have too many people going there. That might have to do with the fact that there's just not too many aircraft going there. There's an aircraft going there every 8 minutes. If I add another one, we can push that down to 6. A lot of vehicles are going out of fashion. Okay, the aircraft that I'm using here is the de Havilland Comet 4B. Oh, that's an older aircraft. I don't think I can even buy those anymore. <coughs> but they're pretty fast. Oh yeah, sorry, no, I can buy them. I will have you join up on the Joe Burke Wishbone line. Next. Whalers to Joe Burke. That's still this line to Whalers. There's seven people there. Frequency set at four minutes. That's alright. Oh, I pushed it down to four minutes, not... Hang on, not six? Interesting. This air craft are running at or near capacity. That's the upgraded lines. Good. Let's see about supplying Joburg. How often are these trams arriving? Because that might have to do with the amount of aircraft that are being filled. So we have the Joburg counterclockwise tram line. And they arrive every 85 seconds. Judging by the amount of people still waiting for the clockwise line, I'd say we might need another unit on that line. So you're going to head up to the Joburg clockwise line. Off you go. Now there's a quite a good number of people waiting here. They are all waiting to go to this hub. We have 48 people waiting to go to Harpoon. That's the, I think, bus line. Yeah, that's this bus line. Now, these buses are fairly old. This is the Mercedes-Benz 6600. Speed, 65. Capacity, 15. I can easily upgrade to the uh, Burkhoff Duvedeck. 90 kph, 25 seats. And if I replace everything, it's going to cost me 3 million. But the connection is going to speed up quite a lot. Now, let's see, Spittleflat Duck Pond, still a popular route, still one of those earliest bus routes that I set up, and 44, 46, 41 people, keeps fluctuating. How often do these arrive? It's the bus line. Every 106 seconds. And these are the, what's that, the Burkhoff? Oh, it's the Mal. Speed, 80. 
I'm going to upgrade those to this one as well. Especially considering the amount of passengers that are left behind. We're going to need... No, not that one. We're going to need quite a few more of these. Replace now 15 million. I probably replaced those in one of the episodes not too long ago. But, what the hell. Four more on that line. Spittle Flats... Ooh, which one is it? Duck Pond. I think. Because that's... Yeah, that's here, all the way there. Now let's have a look at the ships. Because the ships are something that I set up in the previous episode. And these things are transporting quite a bit of fuel nowadays. They're taking the oil from here. So the crude. Shipping it all the way over to the south. Where we have this oil refinery. That turns it into fuel. Fuel gets delivered over here. To Spittle Flat. And Spittle Flat then gets supplied with fuel. Thanks to this truck that keeps moving it around. These things though are um, not running at capacity. And they are a bit slow. So the amount of ships that I have is going to heavily impact the amount of units that get shipped. And while the amount of fuel that is being shipped by these things is not terrible, I think that we can up it further. Nice, a new aircraft, the Airbus a 32100 Let's see what this thing makes by dropping off 109 units of fuel. Not too much. 367k, which uh, does pay for it for another year. Running costs are about 300k a year. But there's just not really enough oil here. Not enough crude. And I think that has to do with a lack of transport capability from here to there. Do I have another depot nearby? Yeah, sort of. Alright. Uh, that is... Oh, which one's that? Harpoon Crude. Hopefully we can now ship these supplies over here faster to the uh, to the harbor here. Because this ship has capacity for a lot more than what's waiting right here. Little tweaks. 40 people waiting to go to Whalers and 35 waiting to go to Wishbone. Okay. Let's check in there. Every six minutes... And they are using the de Havilland. I can set up another de Havilland. And that was... Uh, Whaler's Harpoon. The other one... How many do we have waiting for the other one? 55? Wow. Look at that. That's courtesy of the 737s. Oh... Bloody hell, I'm going to definitely need to upgrade this airport. Upgrading this airport is a bit more intricate than just throwing down a new airport. Because what this means is that I also have to redirect the train line. Jesus, that's a lot of aircraft. <sighs> Good luck to got all of those to go around. Um, where are you? Where are you going? You're trying to get to Harpoon, I think. Go around. There's another one. Go around. I'm going to clear the airport in time. Jeez, what the hell was that? That's... Oh, that's a de Havilland zipping by, going back to Whalers. That thing looked very fast. Okay, this aircraft is up. Come on, get your ass airborne. Oh. Airport's closed, go around. Okay. Time for another airport replacement operation. Let's see if I can fit this in. I rather doubt it. Especially if I want another one of those hub airports. 
<laughs> Look at this monster. Ah, uh, yeah. A large airport then? No way in hell. Uh, it's gonna get expensive. I can, however, uh, go for a slightly larger operation. Deploy the airport here, right next to the train station. And by doing that, this hub is no longer required. I can still keep this, but I could also say, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make this a direct line from Spitalflat to Harpoon Bay to Duck Pond. And then have the airport over here. And in that case, I might as well go the whole length and go for one of those medium hubs. Uh, three terminals. It's not really three terminals, as we have seen. That, hot, or that depot is getting a little bit in the way. Done. Now, unfortunately, these airlines don't quite understand where they need to go. So this used to be Harpoon Base South. That's now this airport. The other one, Harpoon Bay South is dead. Long live Harpoon Bay East. <laughs> creative. Very creative. Uh, we're going to have to set up quite a few transport uh, connections here. This is going to be an important airport. So people can walk by train to the airport, but that's not the only option I want to give them. I also want to give them the option of going uh, over the tracks. Yeah, come on, that'll fit. There we go. And let's see, where are the trams currently going? Because that's important. They're heading south to this hub, which in a way gets a bit superfluous, but it ties into so many different connections that I'm going to not remove it. I'm going to keep it. And especially these lines can make a slight detour. And they're going to be surfacing the train station from this side and the airport from the other side. Now I also have the um, <coughs> XL tram station. I'm just going to use it. I think it's pretty. It's expensive, yes, I'll believe that. Second street connection. Oh, nice. Look at that. This is a mod, by the way. By the same name, XL Tram Station. That looks fantastic. Okay. Uh, we might... <coughs> Make this work. If the game doesn't completely shit out on me at the moment. Let's see, electric... Ah, uh, sorry, not a bus line, it's not really required. Well, yeah, it'll help. Come on. Now, upgrade some of these other lanes there. Okay, now to adjust those tram lines. So what we're looking at at the moment is uh, Harpoon Bay Tram. There's only two of them running around? Okay. That's a few less than I was expecting. Anyway, um, considering that this tram station here also services this uh, train station, I can just remove Queen's Way from that line. So after... And we're going to move this stop a little bit. That means that this one goes. Uh, let's see. Oh, hang on. Where are you going? You're going to... Where's number six? Whoops. Where's number six? I have no idea. Okay. 
after that one, I want you to go here, and then there. Oh, crap. See, I was hoping that they could make this route go into the tram station and go back. Apparently, that second street connection is more for show than actual effect. Is there a place where I can fit this in? game doesn't like it. Yes! That's what I want to have. I'm going to upgrade this little section. There we go. That's better. Okay, so you're going to go to Richmond Road, then to the uh, super station there, to the branch, and then back south. I need to do the same thing for the other way. So it's the counterclockwise line. After Windsor Road, I want you to head up here. Uh, Queensway is no longer an option. And after that one, Victoria Road's no longer an option. So after that station, I want you to go here. And now it fits. Okay, let's add a few more trams here. Harpoon and Harpoon Tram counterclockwise. Right, the airports are now connected. Uh, the trains don't really need reconnecting. <clears throat> so I think we're fine for the moment. Let's move it up. And as these aircraft are arriving here, let's check out the other one. See, this is better. People are waiting here. Aircraft don't have to wait for anything. There's another one coming in. Airbus A320. Ah, there's a lot of them. See, this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Aircraft taking off on one runway, not getting in each other's way. Uh, this seems to be the landing runway, and this is the takeoff part. And with that taxiway, these aircraft don't actually run into each other. And there's another one. I like this a lot. Okay, Whalers Joburg has quite a few people waiting there. Let's see. There are two... Yeah, there's two aircraft coming in on that line. So this should be enough. Whalers to Joburg is not making me any money. Interestingly. These aircraft are pretty fast. Yeah, 725. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm going to still delete this line. It didn't make me as much as I was hoping. But maybe I can recycle the aircraft. And put them on a different line. Although, at the moment, I don't really see which one. Because Harpoon to Wishbone is thrown a little out of whack, as people need to get used to being on this airport instead of the one that was down there. Uh, I hope that they can manage that. And if I need new aircraft, I can always buy them. Here's one. It's full of passengers! Look at that. Now, finally people are not waiting at the actual runway or taxiway here. They're inside the building, by the looks of it. Which makes a lot more sense than <laughs> trying to wait on the tarmac like they're doing in other places. Alright, let's see. Where are you gonna go, dude? Are you gonna take the far terminal? Three people. Thirteen winning go to Wishbone. Really? Are they using this as an in-between? Oh, by the way, I want to check something. What does it look like when we travel with this thing to the tram station? There's the airport with all the terminals. <coughs> this is the new tram station. on <laughs> the older Dutch trains. I like the look of this thing. There's the people going to the airport. Look at this. This is nice work. 
course, I'm not nearly using this thing enough. There could be way more lines in this particular tram than I currently have. And, oh, he's still going around. I thought it would stop. Is another aircraft coming in? Passengers waiting? No, no. There's one. Up there. I like it. Now this part up here... Um, I'm not really sure what purpose this serves. Is that for buses? Because I don't see how the buses could possibly get up here. I don't quite get it. Might be just aesthetics. And nothing else. I'm gonna go with that. Fifteen people waiting there, that's fine. How's the ship? Departing with a full belly. That's what I want. Now, back to Spittleflat, which uh, previous episode got its supply line for fuel. And started out at 1416 industry. At the moment, we are pushing that up. And it's currently looking at a decent 34% coverage for fuel. I still want construction materials there. And machinery. I'm going to try and turn this into a large industrial town. Now, unfortunately, the construction materials are not easy to get to. They are transported currently from this mason quarry to the building here. And then, currently, I'm only really using them in mason, which is still very happy with the amount of uh, stone that it's getting. But otherwise, it's still pretty cut off from the world. So, what I want to do is set up this line and extend it to Spittle Flat. And considering that the truck, and particularly this line, is also set up for industry and can transport more than just fuel, I can have this port be used as a supply point for construction materials. This will mean that I'm going to have more trucks running this line. Holy crap, that's an old road. These things can go up to 80 kph, but not on that road. Not at all. Uh, make it a large country road. I don't need electric. I don't need a bus lane. Nobody's going to go here. Not if they have a choice. Let's see, what else can we upgrade? Not quite. It's not the most direct route, come to think of it. I'm doing this route all over again. I might as well make it a straight line. Oh, sorry. You're, you're stuck, aren't you? Poor thing. Come here. Uh, let's delete that section. Okay, fine. Keep moving. go. That's a bit straighter. And hold. Yeah, that barely fits. What if I delete... Yeah, I can delete most of the road. There. Perfect. Okay, onto the other side, where we still have a bit of upgrading to do. And I would prefer to make this a straight route as Possible, but I still have to look at this, uh, this incline here, this up the hill. Now the advantage I have right now is that I have cash to burn. <coughs> so I don't quite want to invest in a tunnel. So naturally I'm going to buy one. Are you for real? Screw it, might as well. 
that should speed up the amount of construction materials that I can send to this plant. But this air or this um, station is already getting quite a lot of traffic from these trucks. I'm going to be speeding that up as much as possible. That is. This is another. Well, it's not quite a dirt road, I think. It's not ideal either. Come on, where's the road connection? What the hell's going on? Construction not possible. Yeah, I got that part. The game really doesn't understand what I'm trying to do here. Uh, yeah, and then we have a small dirt road here? I don't think so. There. That's a pretty shitty connection, but here we are. Okay, I'm gonna set up another one. A large truck stop. <coughs> Actually, maybe a high-capacity roadway would be better here. Yeah, we're gonna try one of these. This is another one that's got added by the mod. Uh, right side street connection, no. Left side, no. Top side, yes. New. No. This should allow these things to just do a drive through. Instead of having to park and then move off. I don't really need that many terminals. And we got a Merlin, a Boeing 747-8i, a 40-ton, oh, the 40-ton truck. Your timing, sir, is impeccable. What do you mean, not possible? Is it too big? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Now we need to go down to the shore. So I'm going to use this route to do that. Uh, this, what we're using, is, I think, a medium country road. How about those trucks, though? The 40 tons. Speed, 100. See? That's a problem. That means I need to upgrade this part. Down we go. Now we set up another terminal. Uh, I'll have three terminals here. Oh, hang on. Needs to be a cargo terminal. Outside of navigatable waters? No, you're not. No, you're not. There you are. Alright, terminal here. This can be a simple large truck stop. And now set up the line. Take it... Oh, actually, we need to set up another one here as well. Just to make sure we can keep using both of these lines at speed. Start there. Move here. And continue transporting to here. Does it... No, of course it doesn't work. Ugh. I was really hoping that these things would go through and then out the other end. But apparently they don't quite know how to do that. Oh well. Um, first up, I also have to set up another shipping route. Otherwise, there won't be any demand at this truck stop. So we're going to go from here to there. And this is... Um, no, not Mosquito. It's Spittle Flat Construction. And the other one, line one, is, uh, let's say, Mosquito Construction Shipping. That sort of makes sense. Throw on a good bunch of these 40 tons. And let's see if this plant now gets to the idea of... Oh, holy shit. It's not getting anything at the moment. Sorry. You happy now? Of course, going to take the game a moment to think about whether the line's being used. Come on. Just 
throw on some ships. I thought I had a shipyard here somewhere. Yep, here we go. What do we have for freights? Uh, the Vita. Speed, 30. This is a, a tanker. We have the Axalp. Speed, 30. And speed, 36. Carries 252 versus 152. I'm going to set up two of these on the construction line. Okay, the airport's using or being used again. How about you? Yes, line usage confirmed. We are, however, not seeing a lot of supplies here at the moment. But production should kick off very, very soon. There we go, 50, 52. Yeah, this is when I deleted the part. That little section of road. 60. <laughs> Look at this. Moving information. Uh, mosquito. Mason Mosquito Bus. Replace that. Do we have any very old vehicles that I haven't checked in with? Yes, actually. Whalers counterclockwise. Jesus, you're old. What to replace? Whalers counterclockwise. That one. What to upgrade? Other vehicles. The media Mason Mosquito Bus has an auto upgrade feature. And I think that covers most of them. Yes, yes, you're going to get auto replaced. Alright, as a final check, is this working? At the moment, uh, the answer is sort of. Because this thing realizes it has a good line usage. But these trucks that are heading down here, they're carrying some construction material, but not a whole lot. We already have the first <laughs> the first couple of bricks being delivered here. And we have the first yeah, there's the ships. They are a bit too close together. Turn around. I was afraid something like that would happen. For some reason ah it's just slightly too far away. That's the reason. Yeah, that would explain it. That would explain why it's not getting any construction materials. That should fix it. Yep. Now it should be getting construction materials. Or stone, rather. And this thing is now producing so much that it's going to be upgrading in six months. Perfect. Let's upgrade these trucks as well. Replacement with the 40 ton truck. Every bit helps. And uh, I think that's where I'm going to conclude the episode. Upgrades. One airport here. One airport over here. With uh, a few people waiting at the moment, but mostly because an aircraft just took off. We have a new tram station here. The usage for Harpoon is still looking good, 54%. And overall, we have a new shipping line, which should eventually start bringing construction materials. <laughs> There's four of them waiting. That's going to take a long time to get there. See, so yeah, I have one other option. And that's to put an airport over here somewhere. And have the airport receive this stuff by using an airport or an aircraft, freighter aircraft. Uh, that would be this one. But it's a very, very expensive way of transporting construction materials because one aircraft costs me 18.5 million. And it doesn't even transport that much. It transports 55. One ship uh, is not nearly as expensive. One ship is 1 million and transports three times the amount that an aircraft transports, but of course at a far lower speed. So there is that. Are you getting stone yet? 
Thomas Mason. Nope. Alright, well, let's hope that that picks up production soon. Anyway, that's the end of the episode. Thank you for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. And um, let me know in the comments what you would like me to focus on next episode. Because we still have some opportunities. We have food. We have uh, goods that I can start to produce. We still have, I think, one or two towns that aren't quite connected. Uh, flat top is connected. Rosie's Garden. Iron Knob. I never actually connected Iron Knob. I just placed the bus stations there. And down south we had Smuggler's Run, I think. Yeah. So what do you want me to focus on next episode? Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you next week for the next episode. Thank you for watching. See you soon.